recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today's recipe is a very delicious dum aloo recipe in which you know I'm going to be using small baby potatoes. If you don't get the small baby potatoes, you can also use small potatoes you know, or medium sized potatoes. The recipe is very simple and it's really delicious and it goes amazingly well with some rotis or chapatis or naan or even a simple rice and dal or pulao. So let's just jump straight ahead into today's lovely dum aloo recipe. So friends, let's see today's delicious dum aloo recipe. So now here I've taken 20 uh, baby potatoes and I've washed them really well. And now I'm going to use a peeler and peel the potatoes really well. Now if you don't get your hands on baby potatoes, you can always use small potatoes or medium sized potatoes. But this dish really comes out, you know, perfect if you use these little baby potatoes. So now after peeling the potatoes, I'm just going to use a sharp knife. You can also use a fork and just make little incisions like this. So what this does is when we make the gravy, the gravy will nicely, you know, go into the potatoes and flavor the potatoes really well. So this is an important step. Now once that is done, I'm going to heat about 5 tablespoons of oil and we're going to fry these potatoes till they're very nicely done, that is dark brown, golden brown in color. So keep an eye on them and just keep turning them in between till they get nicely fried. So I put a timer and this took me exactly 7 minutes to get them to this point. After that, just take them out in a separate bowl. Now I'm going to take out uh, most of the oil from the pan and I'm just going to use a tablespoon of the oil and now here I have one large onion chopped about 10 cashew nuts, one inch of ginger, six cloves of garlic and about four dried red chilies. So I'm going to add all of this to this oil and we're going to fry this really really well till the onions become nice and translucent. So again, this took me about two minutes for it to really fry nicely. So do that for about two minutes. And after that, once the onions soften, we're going to add two medium sized tomatoes that we've chopped fine. And I'm going to fry this till the tomatoes also become nice and soft. So that took me another two minutes. Now we're going to turn off the heat and we're going to let this mixture completely cool down to room temperature and then we're going to grind this without adding any water to a very very fine paste like this. Now I'm going to add a little bit about a, a tablespoon of the same oil that we used in the beginning for frying the potatoes. So a tablespoon or so and now I'm going to add now here we have two bay leaves, one big elaichi, two small elaichis, one inch of cinnamon, one teaspoon of cumin or jeera and about 10 peppercorns. So we're going to add all of these whole masalas or whole spices to the uh, one tablespoon of oil. And we're going to fry this till it nicely flavors up the oil. So keep it on a very low flame. And just for about half a minute, we're going to fry them so that they nicely flavor the oil. And once that is done, we're going to add our paste that we ground to this, to the whole spices that we fried. And we're going to mix this in really, really well. So we're going to fry this masala or this paste for about half a minute with the whole spices. Now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder or haldi powder, one teaspoon of red chilli powder. Mix it in well. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of coriander powder or dhania powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder or jeera powder, two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder for the colour and one teaspoon of dry mango powder or amchur powder. So mix all of this really well together. Keep your flame on very low because we are adding powder spices. So mix all of this really nicely together. 
the flavor i mean the aroma in my kitchen is just amazing with all these beautiful indian spices and now what we're going to do is we're going to cover this and keep it aside for about 5 uh 5 minutes on a very low flame till all of the masala gets nicely fried and now i'm going to add one green chili that i've chopped fine so keep stirring in between when you cover and keep it for 5 minutes and now you can see that there's some oil oozing out of this masala now i'm going to add 1 and 1/2 cup of water now what i did is the mixer uh, jar in which i ground the masala i added 1 and 1/2 cup water to that rinsed out all the masala and i'm going to use that water itself so now mix it in really well if you want it a little thinner then you can add a little more water see about 1/4 cup of water more and mix all of this really nicely together and now i'm going to add some salt to taste and now we're going to add our fried potatoes back into the curry or the gravy mix everything in well and now you're going to cover and keep this for 15 minutes on a very low flame stirring in between and after 15 minutes you'll see that it has nicely thickened and the the masalas have all come together very well the potatoes are nicely coated with the masala so now i'm just going to add half a teaspoon of homemade garam masala i leave a link of to the recipe of how i make my garam masala at home mix all of this well together you see how the curry has nicely thickened up i just can't wait to dig into this and then i'm going to turn off the flame and i'm just going to add some lovely fresh coriander leaves that i've chopped as a garnish and we're going to mix in the coriander leaves too and that's it guys your lovely dum aloo recipe is all ready to enjoy now i love having this with some naan or of course i'm going to add just half a teaspoon of clarified butter and ghee at the end and then we're just going to cover and keep it aside for about a minute or two and that really flavors and elevates the flavor of this beautiful dish so have this with naan or roti or you know porries or chapatis it's just fabulous so wasn't that a really nice and delicious recipe and you really waiting to try your hands on it i know it does have a little more you know ingredients that i generally use but believe me these ingredients are necessary for to get that perfect dum aloo restaurant style recipe so do give this recipe a try and do let me know in the comment section how you like today's recipe don't forget to leave this recipe a big thumbs up by clicking on the uh, thumbs up icon and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and become a part of akshita's recipes also once you subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell and click on all that way whenever you're look you know uh, i put up a new recipe you'll get a message for the same so guys on that note i'll end today's video take care of yourselves i'll catch you soon in my next video sooner than you think this is akshita signing off bye